Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story that goes back many many years when I was a much younger fellow than I am today. I uh, used to be my old stomping ground which is back in Switzerland and I was an appliance repairman for uh, many many years uh, before I uh, moved eventually over to Canada. Uh, I had several adventures I guess we can call it uh, being a repairman uh, you know you end up in different houses different households you see different things different personalities uh, uh, some houses are very neat some houses are a bit less neat um, but you know there's always the cases and the stories and the visits that kind of stand out to you in your mind and uh, one of them I'm gonna share today is uh, when I got called out uh, for a washer repair and you know we may talk more about this in, in subsequent videos later on but if you are slightly familiar with Switzerland it's a pretty hilly and mountainous country so um, not everything is just in a city or in the flatlands there's mountain towns we have um, uh, Alps uh, you know, uh, summer houses way up in the mountains. But in any case, uh, this was a permanent residence and they were kind of on, you can say almost on the edge of a, of a cliff, literally, so to speak. And uh, they had some uh, washer problems. And uh, the closest you could get with your service vehicle is to the base, literally of that cliff. And then from there on, you have to change over to a not a public it's just kind of a personal um, cable car i guess you can call it and uh, so the first step is you you know you take your tools you make an educated guess what you might need or not and then uh, you phone the house and you wait for that little cable car to arrive and if you can picture the cable car most of you guys may think of a cable car, you know, maybe banned, if everything is nice and closed and all that kind of stuff. Well, let me tell you, my friends, that's not the case there. What came down to pick me up was a wide open cable car, meaning, you know, it's the cable itself with the mechanism. And then there were just uh, some boards and stuff. So, yeah, put my tools on, my parts, sat on it and I uh, got the press the button to get it started. So there I was sitting, slowly lifting up, and just so you get kind of the picture of this, um, my legs were hanging over the abyss, if I can call it that way. And it was a relatively windy day as well. So it's not just like you're sitting there without any guardrails or anything. It's also going back and forth and back and forth, just how the wind blows. and. You go higher and higher and you see your vehicle, your van, whatever you have down there getting smaller and smaller till eventually you arrive uh, at the top of the mountain. And then of course, from there you take your stuff and walk to the residence, to the house and you investigate what's going on. Now, if you're lucky, you may be able to fix this right then and there, but you may need a extra part out of your service vehicle or, or anything else. So you start the whole process again, you sit on again, you go down to your vehicle, grab what you need, sit on again and go back up again. So so certainly not something for if you are afraid of heights or, or anything for that matter, because uh, as I said, it's wide open and, and it is moving with the wind. So anyways, you go back up and you do whatever you need to do and uh, eventually once you're all half it all wrapped up you go back to your vehicle and you move on to literally the next adventure so this is kind of the story for today hope you enjoyed it there's many many more to come and uh, if if you like what you see and then please click the subscribe and like button and mention it us to our friends and we'll look forward to see you uh, very soon again.